Why the Johnny Depp trial is good for men. I'm going to make this brief because this is not an extremely deep or complex point that I'm going to make. But um, it needs to be said and it's pretty obvious that the reason why it's good for men is because it puts on display in the most public way possible. It doesn't get any bigger than Johnny Depp, right? Doesn't get any bigger than his fame. Doesn't get any bigger than, you know, his clout and how much people like him. And yet, here's a man, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> here's a man, <clears throat> here's a man who is being fleeced, lied about, right? His future stolen by a woman who wanted to vitriolically damage him for whatever reason. And it's probably not one way or the other as far as when you listen to both their testimonies, you get the impression that Johnny Depp has a drug problem. He's a guy who's addicted to drugs. He's a guy who lives a very hedonistic lifestyle, which is his choice. He's a beloved actor in the sense that the, the art that he creates is loved by millions if not billions of people across the globe. And it doesn't get any bigger than that. And yet a woman came along, and this is, is also a good red pill because it shows that man's weakness is woman. A man's weakness is a woman. If you want to get to a man and hurt him and, and, and put him down bad, use a woman. Right? Was Johnny the perfect husband? Probably not. When you listen to the testimony, when you listen to you know to the evidence. Is he a decent, upstanding, wholesome character? No, unfortunately. That's the lifestyle that he chose, though, and who are we to judge, right? He gave us things that we loved, art, great movies over the years, and he chose to do what he wanted to do with his money, which is his right. I don't believe he abused Amber Heard. I believe she's lying through her teeth. That's just my... That's just what my gut says, right? Uh, and he came on the stand to clear his name in the sense that he didn't want to be known as an abuser. He was okay with throwing himself under the bus and exposing his own drug use, exposing the fact that he – and he, he admitted to – he admitted to it, right? Exposing the fact that he uses drugs recreationally or, or, or in a – medication type way or both for all his issues in his life he's a, he's a drug user fine he's he's admitted that which tarnishes his reputation but in his mind it was worth it to clear his name from being a, a woman abuser and that's what she tried to do to him And so the reason why this is good for men is because it exposes the fact that this happens this can happen on every level. He's the he's the richest of the rich, the most famous of the most famous, and it happened to him and now he's got to publicly come out. And it and it's an honest move by Johnny Depp. It's an honest move. He could have been like, "No, I don't want to expose the fact that, you know, to the world that I'm a drug." He did that because to him that meant less than being known as a woman beater. But that's the extent that he had to go to clear his name from her accusations, right? That's the extent that he had to take it. So the reason why this is good for men is because it exposes that fact, exposes the fact that it can happen on, it, on any level, and it exposes just how detrimental a woman's testimony is against a man, just how detrimental... And, and, and poisonous and powerful in a negative sense a woman's word is to the world and it's sad and it's sick right it shows you that no amount of money can offset that no amount of fame and love from the from the public can you know <laughs> 
protect you from a woman's, simply just a woman's word against you. It ruined his life. It ruined his reputation. She wanted to vitriolically damage this man. Maybe because he wasn't a good enough husband or maybe because of this reason or that reason. Maybe he cheated. Who knows? If you listen to their testimony, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a mess. The type of lifestyle that they lived. It's a mess. So no one's sitting here saying that Johnny Depp is innocent in that sense. That he was the most upstanding husband and, and this, that, and the third. Right? But see, women will use that as a reason to hate you. Oh, you're not this. Per you're not perfect, so I can throw you under the bus. You're not perfect, so I can damage you, right? Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. You know, maybe there was mutual physicality. I don't know. It, 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 at most, it could be that she hit him. He hit her. Maybe, maybe. So far from what I've heard, there's no evidence supporting that he ever physically harmed her in any way. She claims he did. That's her testimony. But is there any evidence? Not that I know of. But there is evidence that she hit him. There is evidence that she attacked him. Right? It's a mess, right? But what this tells us is that a woman's word, a woman's testimony can absolutely ruin him despite evidence, despite a lack of evidence, right? And yet there's evidence against her and Johnny Depp had to take it to the highest level in order for, for anything to, to be done to her, right? He had to take it to the Supreme Court or wherever, I, th I think it's the Supreme Court. I think it's a civil case. Uh, he's suing her for defamation, right? I don't know. Anyway, so he had to take it to that highest level to even get any truth to come out to save his reputation just insofar as he doesn't want to be known as a woman abuser. And, and I doubt he'd be going to court if there was proof of that. If there was proof that he was actually a woman abuser besides her testimony. But it shows... Just how much power women have over men with just their word. And it honestly, it, it, it's a bad thing for women. It's good for men. It's bad for women because there are women out there who are really being abused. And their word is going to have less traction now. They're going to be believed less now. Because of liars like Amber Heard. And they're, and they're out there, these liars. And this is why men say, go MGTOW. Get out of the game. Juice is not worth the squeeze. Take the red pill. It's a, it, it's a minefield, man. We're walking around landmines out here. Guys. Guys are. You know, and she probably gaslit him. Love bombed him, Right? This is what women do. They love bomb men and they put on this front and it's all good for the first couple of years. She took off his boots, right? She made him feel amazing after, after a hard day's work. This is what women do. They know how to do this. They know how to get on our good side, right? They're just perfect angels, right? Up until they're not, up until they change, up until there's that shift, then you see who they really are. You see the other side of them. You see how much damage they can do emotionally, vitriolically, etc. This is why men are saying, no, I don't, I don't want no parts of this. They're wiping their hands clean. I'm, nope. I'm not getting married. I'm not even going to date a lot of men say that, right? This is why. This is why. This is the perfect example of what men go through on every level and it, 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 it you know it's a testimony to men's hardships it's a testimony to what men have to go through um, again on every level and this is you, you know this guy's at the highest level and he he's going through this in such a public way and in such an intimate way details about his life and, and most of these and even Johnny has said he's a 
he's very he he wanted to be very protective of his children why he he didn't put himself out there too much his personal life you know and now he has to a lot of celebrities want to live very insulated uh secure lives secure personal lives because of things like this because people will take your you know your mistakes or your wrongdoings or whatever and they'll they'll crucify you publicly this is what this woman did to him she claimed she loved him and then she just t- turned it around and absolutely uh barbecued him publicly she admitted she wrote the op-ed she admitted that she put it out there why, why would she do that if she was really abused and she had evidence that she was really abused why not just go to the police Instead, she went to a magazine syndicate or whatever, magazine company, and put out these lies against him. This is the, the real reason of the trial. He's suing her over her, 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 her defamation of his character publicly through a, a magazine. And that's all it takes is a woman's word to get a man caught up, ruin his life, cost him hundreds of millions of dollars in this case, Right, you know, other men, you know, cost them their careers, cost them their jobs. Maybe they only make a hundred k a year, but that's a lot to 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 some men. To Johnny Depp, a hundred k is like, you know, a weekend vacation or something. But that's on the highest level. But it shows you that a woman's word, even the highest level men, are not impervious to a woman's word. A woman's word can take any man down at any level. Shoot, it took the president down. Now, maybe that was true. <laughs> or however, you know, Bill, Bill Clinton was impeached because he had some some fun with a woman in the... And I'm not saying that's okay, but it just shows you that any level, any there's no level where a woman can't ruin a man. And that's a, that's a, that's a great red pill right there. That's a great red pill, but it's a, this is a good thing for men because it exposes the fact, just that, it exposes the fact that men can be ruined by women. It exposes the fact that a woman's lies can ruin a man's life. It shows what we go through, and it's a perfect storm because Johnny Depp is endearing, or, or, or he's endeared in the hearts of so many millions of people all across the world because of his films. So he has support from all walks of life, all ages, because of his films. And yet he was canceled in Hollywood, lost hundreds of millions of dollars from his potential future films because of a woman's lies. Because of her damaging, not even, I was going to say testimony, but not even testimony, her damaging machinations she created this lie and gave it not in, not in court like the like the right way to do it she never took him to court she put out lies in a magazine if that's not vitriol you know if she was really genuinely abused she 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 would go to court that's what people do when they're genuinely abused and they have evidence they go to court right but she didn't do that. She went to a magazine to put out damaging stories about him. You see? And that just shows where her heart was at. That shows that she wasn't an abused woman who was just trying to get justice in the court system for being physically hurt or whatever. She was a woman who was trying to get payback. And ruin this man's career, ruin his reputation, and ruin his life for whatever reason she felt she deserved that from him or, or deserved to do that to him. This is the same thing with this doxing, you know, or, or, um, what's it called? Uh, canceling when these, when these leftists they try to cancel people, right? But yet it's used in an improper, I mean, the whole thing is improper to begin with, but usually it's based on some kind of truth. It should be, but if there's no truth here, then she's just she's just misusing it. This is this is a distorted version of the Me Too movement. 
when they lie and they use a scenario to hurt a man because they're they just hate men they're the, the you know they're radical feminists and 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 they're manipulators and they're sick you know it's a sick thing to try to ruin a man or dox a person or cancel somebody and they don't care you you know they take it to the the nth level they take it to the nth degree they don't care if you lose your your, your home if you're out on the street you you know they want you to die it's 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 evil it's insidious these intentions of harming somebody just because they said something disparaging about a a certain class of people or something it, it's it's weird it's sick but even in this case it's it, it can be manipulative and totally erroneous and yet she's playing the victim and this is how how women do a lot of times they play victim oh i'm a victim i'm a victim you're abusing me woo 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 like you know totally throwing a man under the bus why? Because they're sick. They're sick. This is what radical feminism produces. This, this this sick modern feminist society that we live in. This gynocentric radical feminist society, for the most part, not all women. You know, not all, not the whole society, right? But but th- th- this particular branch of culture, this mainstream cancel culture, which is which is becoming more and more prevalent, unfortunately. But this should push that back, hopefully. Hopefully this pushes that back. That, you know, it, it, it's, a lot of it is based on lies and a lot of it is based on vitriol. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. This is a win for men. Ho- hopefully Johnny gets what he wants. Appreciate you listening, Jay Lee, Northwest Podcast. Peace.